Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Erica. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and being here today. As you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys five books that I think you all should read in the year 2020. I've done a few videos like this before where I've talked about my favorite self-development books or spirituality books, and I'll have those old videos linked in the description box in case you want to go learn about some more books to read. I'm a huge reader. I love reading, but specifically I love reading books that expand my mind or allow me to grow into a better version of myself. And I truly feel like all these books that I'm sharing with you guys today have done that for me. I will try to find a link to all these books so you can buy them and put it in the description for you guys. If you're all about self-development and diving deep into spiritual growth, this is definitely the video you're going to want to watch and you're also going to probably want to subscribe. <laughs> so I hope you guys discover a new book or two today. Let me know if you pick one of these up and start reading them or if you've read one before, let me know your thoughts because I don't know, I love to talk about books. Also, quick reminder to follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. It is just at Erica Conchola. But without further ado, I hope you all enjoy this video and let's just get right into the books. Okay guys, so here are the five books that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. As you can see, I put yellow sticky notes because I'm going to read like a little excerpt from each one. These books just make me so happy. I love going back to them and just rereading what I've highlighted. All these books I've pretty much annotated and they've all just taught me so much, but they're all so different. So I'm excited to share these with you guys. Starting off with the first book I want to talk about today. This is a book that I've talked about multiple times on this channel. I just wanted to start with a classic because if you haven't read this book, my question is why? Just please go and pick this book up. You could read it within like a day or two. I read it in one sitting in like three or four hours. If you watch my videos, you probably heard me talk about this book, but it is the Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. This was the book that like started it all for me, I would say. It really just like kind of gave me that nudge to really dive deep into learning more about myself and about spirituality especially. I love Don Miguel's style of writing because it is so simple yet so beautiful. It's almost poetic. Once you really read and learn about the Four Agreements, your life changes. Like learning about those four things truly makes a heck of a difference. All my friends pretty much know how in love I am with this book and one of my friends for my birthday this year gave me a mini version of this book. Like what? I didn't even know they made this but it's so freaking cute. Basically it's just like a summarized version of the four agreements and it's so cute so I take it with me everywhere now and it's just the best little thing to refer to whenever I'm feeling meh. I'm just gonna read a little part uh, from, I believe, the second chapter. Death is not the biggest fear we have. Our biggest fear is taking the risk to be alive. The risk to be alive and express what we really are. Just being ourselves is the biggest fear of humans. We have learned to live our lives trying to satisfy other people's demands. We have learned to live by other people's points of view because of the fear of not being accepted and of not being good enough for someone else. So that's just a little excerpt I wanted to read, but definitely pick up this book if you haven't read it yet. I recommend it to like everyone I meet. <laughs> the next book I want to share with you guys is A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. This is a very important book, I think, especially for the rise of human consciousness. This book really dives deep into how ego has affected our overall state of consciousness as humanity. I think this is definitely one that will expand your perception and really make you think twice about everything you do and the way you react to situations. A lot of the times we don't realize that we're the ones standing in our own way and it's our ego that contains all of our fears and doubts and just tries to rule our lives. But that's not how it has to be and that's not how it should be. Ultimately, all of us have a purpose to transcend our personal egos to then create a new world, a new earth, basically. That's truly how we will impact and change this world for the better. I really like this quote. It says, Awakened doing is the outer aspect of the next stage in the evolution of consciousness on our planet. The closer we get to the end of our present evolutionary stage, the more dysfunctional the ego becomes, in the same way that a caterpillar becomes dysfunctional just before it transforms into a butterfly. 
but the new consciousness is arising even as the old dissolves. I think that's super interesting and hopefully it intrigues you guys and <laughs> makes you want to read this book because it's a good one. And I know Oprah loves this book. This is one of her favorite books. She actually did a few podcast episodes with Eckhart Tolle and they just dive deep into each chapter, what it's about, how you can apply it to your daily life. He'll answer questions. It's a really good podcast series, so you should definitely check that out. I'll try to link it below if I can. This next book is one that I actually read in a week because it is just that good. This book is called The Illusion of Money, Why Chasing Money is Stopping You from Receiving It by Kyle Cease. Kyle Cease is one of my favorite humans. He mixes comedy with spirituality and it's just like the best thing ever. His book, the way he writes, is exactly how he speaks so it makes it really entertaining to read. Towards the end of 2019 was when I really decided that I was going to heal my money mindset. That is something that's so important to me. I'm still working through it but I'm getting so much better because I know that I desire a life of abundance and that includes financial abundance you know so I had heard really good things about this book his podcast interview with um, Lewis Howes on Lewis Howes' podcast was phenomenal I've listened to it like four times now so once I listened to that I knew I had to pick up his book and then I read it within a week but this is just really about remembering how infinitely powerful we all are and we don't need to chase anything external everything we need to change our own life and to obtain the things that we desire in life is already within us. We are the creators of our own destiny and sometimes there are old stories that we constantly tell ourselves that we really need to let go of in order to really transform into this person that we want to be and the person who can have whatever they desire in life. I freaking love this book, but I'm gonna read a little part of it. It seems as if 99% of our creative energy has been spent trying to hold together this illusion of limitation and unworthiness. The moment we stop holding it together, we unlock an entirely new dimension of abilities and freedom. This is why I find the phrase, trying to keep it all together, so fascinating. What are we trying to keep together? If you have to try to keep something together, maybe it's not supposed to be there. Maybe what you're trying to keep together is an old way of being that doesn't fit anymore. There's a little insight into this book for you. Very, very good. <laughs> this next book I actually have not finished yet, but it is one that I constantly go back to and I will probably always go back to because it's written in a style where you don't have to necessarily keep up with it and read it like straight through. So this book is Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life by Dr. Wayne Dyer. Essentially what this is, is Dr. Wayne Dyer's interpretation of the Tao Te Ching, which is an ancient Chinese text written, I believe, 2,500 years ago. Dr. Wayne Dyer basically brings us the 21st century version of the Tao Te Ching and it is really freaking powerful. Basically each chapter is a different verse from the Tao Te Ching and there's 81 total verses so every single page there's a verse first, the verse is from the Tao Te Ching and then Dr. Wayne Dyer's interpretation of it. It really resonates. Every time I read from this book I just find it so like healing and it always makes sense to me. Anything by Wayne Dyer though, he is just the goat. Love him. I'm gonna read the eighth verse to you guys, which he translates to living in the flow. The Tao and water are synonymous according to the teachings of Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu is the person who wrote the Tao Te Ching. You are water, water is you. Think about the first nine months of your life after conception. You lived in and were nourished by amniotic fluid, which is truly unconditional love flowing into you, flowing as you. The Tao asks you to clearly see the parallels between you and this naturally flowing substance that allows life to sustain itself. Live as water lives, since you are water. Become as contented as is the fluid that animates and supports you. Let your thoughts and behaviors move smoothly in accordance with the nature of all things. So beautifully written sometimes I'll like be tearing up as I'm reading parts of this book so absolutely recommend this 
All right, guys, the fifth and final book I want to share with you guys today is You Are a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. This is my most recent read. I finished it a couple weeks ago and I freaking loved it. I would say if you want to work on your money mindset, this is the book you need to pick up because she has incredible practices and affirmations in here. I've incorporated some of them into my daily routine and they're just so simple and helpful. I'm definitely going to be bringing more videos about financial abundance onto this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, you could leave me any questions or suggestions on topics to talk about in a comment below. I'll read you guys a little part from this book. This making money thing is not about never again making wise, informed purchases or rejoicing in a good sale or filling up on bread. It's about giving yourself the options and the permission to be, do, and have whatever lights you up instead of acting like a victim of your circumstances. It's about creating the wealth that affords you the life you love to live instead of settling for what you think you can get so key and that's basically the reason why I want to learn more about money and why I want to be financially abundant. We don't realize how toxic some of our ideas are towards the idea of wealth or having a lot of money, you know? Day by day I'm healing those old subconscious beliefs of mine and this book definitely has helped me do that. Alright friends, so that is basically all I have to share with you guys today. Those five books I highly recommend you all read in the year 2020, maybe even to start off your 2020 because that is the vibe, I think. Those are the vibes we are going for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did by giving it a thumbs up. If you have any books you wanna to recommend to me, let me know in a comment below. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe. I love you all so much. Don't forget to be here, be still, and be love, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.